guys. Back on the road, baby. Welcome back. New vlog. If you're enjoying the content, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Um, yeah, and join us on our little adventure around Australia. So, first free camp was a little bit of a disaster. The high tides, where you camp, the water comes right up over where you camp. So, we're going to go on to the next one. We don't know where it is. What is it called? Oh, Elliot, no, Elliot, Elliot. Elliot River. Yep. So, we're going to go give this one a go. It's uh, 110 k's. The, so far, the ute is behaving itself. So, um, yeah, guys, let's uh, send it to Elliot River. Your tears, they say a thousand words. I've heard them all before. The ones who love So, we didn't make it to Elliot. What river? So the wind is blowing. And it's just got terrible. It's getting dark, it's getting late. So we found this spot. What is it called? Malongli. Malongli. Thirty-five dollars uh, for the night, power and water. But when the wind does die down, guys, there's a nice little river creek out of the beach. So hopefully tomorrow morning when we wake up and the wind's not blowing like this, we can take a little trot along the along the bank here and up to the uh, beach, which yeah might be good. But I think we're only here for a night, guys. Yeah, we are. Just set up. I don't even know if I'm going to put the warning out. I'm not, I haven't even unhitched. So, yeah, it didn't go to plan. I had this beautiful campsite pictured in my mind so I could sit back tonight and cook a chicken on the weather and all that. But, yeah, it didn't go to plan. But that's okay. Everything happens for a reason, they say. So, uh, we're just going to quickly do a little quick unpack. I'm going to get the TV on because I want to watch the Bathurst qualifying today. Um, and I'm not sure what's for dinner, but we'll keep you up to date. You to be happy. Give me a chance to show that you can be. Well, open your eyes and see the way I see. Cause all that I want is for you to be happy with me. Love, what is, what is going on? I'm trying to watch the Bathurst qualifying on KO, but it keeps bloody buffering every 10 seconds like that. It's driving me bloody mad. Do you want to know what is worth than watching Bathurst buffering? Me watching you watch Bathurst buffering. Well, at least we've got a cold beer. I'll try and watch this and then cook dinner. What's happening? So these valves tend to these uh, pressure reducing valves need to break. Unfortunately, before I left Brisbane, I bought another one and it's decided to die. So, a quick little plumbing fix so we can get some water. And it's getting dark and uh, just, yeah, but it, these things happen. So, hopefully, we can sort it out quickly. Just don't know if I've got any um, plumbing tape with me. So, it might leak overnight, but there's nothing I can do. And you've got a little arrow on it, so yeah. Coming in. Just grab that. Oh jeez, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this tool on you. Fortunately I had another one in stock. So when we get to another hardware store, I'll buy another one to keep on board because these working at Reese. These are a big thing on the caravan because the water is not good out in the outback. So hopefully this will sort it out. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So I gave up on the Bathurst 1000 qualifying because it just keeps buffering and the weather is so miserable outside so moved on inside chicken wraps up for dinner tonight like we say we know chefs but i'm going to put the chicken in a bit of honey soy marinade toss it up a bit throw it on the uh, pan cook it up and throw some wraps in the microwave and yeah that's dinner and a couple beers early night up early tomorrow hopefully the weather is better tomorrow and um yeah so we'll see you tomorrow morning Take this 
hurt lady Throw it in my face Don't let these bones slow you down Cause I'm coming on strong Grass should have looked greener I need a true believer in the sky Right, good morning peeps We're up, it's only about 20 past 7 We're up a little bit earlier this morning I'm trying to go down to the beach for a sunrise but we couldn't find it so and on the way down while we we're trying to find it we got absolutely destroyed by the sand flies so i suggest a can of bushmans and a backup can of bushmans to be honest but guys regarding the campsite spot on this campsite the amenities are super clean all level cement slabs 35 dollars for the night and a boat ramp and you can see plenty of boats out on the water so there must be some fish out in the bay I don't know how the guys went last night because the wind blew till I don't know what time but it's beautiful this morning oh clear skies and the temperature is spot on but we're uh, we're heading off early this morning where are we going Lost Lake Prosperine whatever it's a uh, free camp can have fires campfire on our priority list today we haven't had a campfire since uh, the NT so 150k drive we're not going to hang around here too long sand flies are terrible um, just pack the chairs up, um, van's hitched already, and punch 150k's out, so we'll see you there. Cotton candy from a child, too many answers, but all we need is questions, you ain't giving this a chance to burn its life, cause I'm coming up strong, the grass should have looked green. So guys, how is this camp? What do you think, Hey, huh? It's stunning. Stunning, I'll give this place a five star. So a little story behind this one was, we undenied, undenied about coming here. The reviews say it's a pretty windy place. People lose their tents, their awnings, etc. So we were a little bit undecided on whether to come here, but we thought, oh, you know what? It's 40 Ks out the way. We'll come and give it a go. So I am super happy we came. What do you think? I think it's amazing. It's right on the water, right on the lake. Um, the amenities are really clean. It's free. It's free, guys. Free. There was no hot water this, this morning for a shower, but that's okay. It's free, so cold water's fine. But let's take a minute and show you this joint. Come on outside with me. So guys, five star resort I reckon, for free. What do you guys think? I thought the drone footage was shows just how gorgeous the spot is. We're about 40 k's or 40 minutes from Ely and about an hour from Bowen, so it's sort of inland. What is this place called again? Lake? Oh my goodness. Lake uh, Pros Prosperine. Pros Prosperine. So yeah, boat ramp. You can fish, apparently there's a small croc in there, but people have been swimming. I don't know. Anyway. But we have, what are we going to call this? The Just Vanning, it's chicken. Spicy chicken pot. Spicy chicken campfire stew. Stew, I think. But <laughs> it's got a bit of, what do we got in it? Some chicken on our bone, some, some chicken breasts. We got a sauce that we made, some chicken stock, red wine, um, tomato puree, tomato puree sugar, sugar. Yeah. Bloody hell, all of that, eh? Look at this. Let me swing your let me swing the camera around and show you what's for dinner tonight. Look at that guys. Also got a bit of carrots, potato in it. And later on we're gonna throw some coconut milk, some peas and some corn into that and have that on rice. But we're witnessing an absolute amazing sunset here. Honestly, if you're in the area, you're not gonna miss out on Look at this. Little breeze. Look at this, guys. Wow. Here, guys. This bloody. What do we? What do we call it again? Chicken stew. Smells bloody fantastic. Come on and have a look. So bring the camera over here. Look at this. Woo. 
So, we've had a couple of beers. Sunset tonight was bloody gorgeous. And um, we're going to dish up some food now and sit down, maybe outside, eat dinner, and we're going to catch you in the morning. Good morning. Well, good night's sleep. Bloody epic evening, but the mosquitoes got me last night, I tell you, bugger. But anyway, so we're up, it's about six o'clock in the morning, um, and we got up early to watch the sunrise. So come on, let me show you. Hey, it's amazing. How good is that sunrise guys? The views are just spectacular here. Um, really suggest you come here to Lake Prosperon. But um, it's pack up day today. We've got to get on the road early this morning. Hot tip is, if you can, get a spot down by the lake. Really, really good. And also, don't forget to get some, use your storm straps down here because it can get pretty windy. So we just use these um, Navigator awning buddy. So we've got one on each side and it's got a couple of clips for some accessories that Navigator do. But um, yeah, it saved us, I, I tell you. So guys, yeah, we're going to, where are we going? I think, we're, ooh, we're going to Bowen today for a few days. Can't wait, blowy Bowen, they call it. Um, I reckon we're going to go there for about four or five days, so we've never been there. So, enough of the dribble. Let's get packed up and let's uh, get there. We've got about a hundred k's to go, I think, this morning. Um, about an hour, hour and a half tow. It's not too bad. We get there nice and early, get set up, and go explore Bowen. You speak, I am listening. Sweat rose, girl, you're glistening. Slow mo, pull me into the light, the light. I'm people watching us, wishing they were obvious Instead of giving in to the fright, the fright Let's stop and show you So, the ablutions up here Absolutely spotless to be honest with you for a free camp The men's, ladies, showers So uh, that's where you gotta go So, let me show you You come in, you come in over here it's a couple of spots up by the trees if it's too windy but we were right down by the water but the weather turned it on for us here so we're so glad that we came here but that's it for Lake Prosperon we got an hour and a half drive back to Bowen so uh, let's send it one heart to survive when one just breaks one slow suicide while one just takes we just pulled up just on the south side of Bowen at an information area, rest area, a bit early because you can only get into the parks after 12. So I thought we'd just stop up here, have a bite to eat. But just walked over this little hill, just behind me. How bloody good is this? You can see some of the islands in the background. Never been here before. So we're uh, super excited to explore the area. But yeah, it's pretty good muddy here but I can just see out on the outside over there how the water's turning that like beautiful color that we want to see so um, yeah I'm not sure the park's name I think it's in NRMA park it's on the beach so looking forward to it see how we are NMRA caravans or resort sorry to say $85 for two nights Anyway, we couldn't get we couldn't get a seaside spot. I don't know how much they are, but look at the water right there. So yeah, concrete slab, swimming pool, power water, the normal gear, washing machines, etc. So guys, we're gonna leave you there. And um, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please hit, consider hitting the subscribe button below, little notification bell. And that way you can be notified when your content gets dropped. And also what we want is you guys to comment on what else you would like to see on our trip. Do you want more of the parks we're staying at? 
more of where we're going, etc., like that, just to help us know what you want. And by doing that, just hit the com drop the comments in below, and then we're happy to try it and adjust our videos to suit our audience. So, guys, until next week, we're going to get out, explore Bowen, and that'll be next week's episode. So, until then, see ya.